Hello Geeks and Ghouls! Today I'm thinking of doing something um, a bit different. I have reviewed quite a few retail label books in the past as I was reading them, but there are other books of his I have read years and years ago, and so I think it's time I'll do reviews for them too, and those reviews are based on my memories of what I read back then. And I'll start with the first uh, two Lehman books I've read in this uh, collection because I, I'm, I'm a simple reader, okay? I get them two in one because I pay for one book and I get two. And my first Lehman read was uh, Funland and The Stake, and I've read them back in 2010, I believe. I was um, in the UK back then and I was visiting Waterstones. And I was like, I was seeing these uh, rows and rows of Richard Lehman books, an author I was not familiar with, because he was very popular in the UK, but not uh, anywhere else back then. And I knew that uh, there was a book that was uh, also published in Greek, um, The Stake, and I was curious, so I got this uh, volume and I've read this. I'm not sure it's the first one. I may have read the seller before that. So yeah, I've read Funland and The Stake and I was hooked with Richard Lehman. I think that's uh, a great, two great books to start with Richard Lehman. Uh, so what is the Funland? The Funland is very essential Lehman. It's about a small uh, tourist resort in California. As most of his book are uh, Californian. They have this Californian spirit. They're great summer reads if you're a fan of uh, mutilation and rape. And there's a group of teenagers, there's the, this new guy in town coming in and he hangs around with uh, some local kids because he has a crush on a girl. And those local kids are going out and beating up on the homeless, the trolls, as they say, because they live under bridges. Yeah, they're assholes. Because um, one of their friends was assaulted. And also there is a fun land that I think it's abandoned, a uh, fun house, it's abandoned, and something off is happening with this. And also we have two, a couple of policemen, a man and a woman, who are just partners, and they get to be more than that. And they were very fun in this book. Their relationship, their relationship was very fun. And what really stood out for me in this book, and I think that's where we get to a very good uh, patch of uh, Richard Lehman works after this book, is that we have this uh, element of uh, very fun characters, very good dialogue. Um, Richard Lehman is always writing a lot of fun dialogue. Of course, there is sleaze and gore and uh, lots of bad stuff happening to people who might deserve it or may not deserve it. The romance is good. Uh, there is this um, California surf theme along with a very gritty uh, and bloody and dark uh, night side of it, which was very interesting. It's very well juxtaposed and the characters feel, well, as real as can be for a Richard Lehman novel because of the good dialogue. I mean, he's not Jack Ketsam, okay? He is a more of a... Um, he's the fun version of Jack Ketsam, which sounds very wrong in my head, okay? And of course, there is the big climax in the fun house, uh, which was a lot of gore and fun and I really enjoyed it. And then I went straight for the steak. I guess I know I'm very vague because it's about what I remember. You've probably met this premise again. We have two couples and the husband, one of them is a horror writer called Larry Dunbar, which is very Richard Limon-esque, come to think of it. It's a sort of a self-insert, I guess. And uh, the two couples go to a ghost town in California. They find a coffin with a body in there and there is a stake in the heart. And we've all seen that movie uh, because at some point someone pulls the stake and a vampire comes around. Only in this book, the stake, Bertha Lehman, they don't remove the stake. They just take the coffin to their home and the writer is very fascinating by it. And it's constantly thinking, should I put the steak? Should I put the steak? Should I put the steak? And uh, a lot of this book is about what happens if you don't pull the steak off the heart of a corpse in a coffin. That was a really interesting take on a very um, tired trope. All right. 
So, yeah. Oh, and the corpse, of course, the naked woman. It's just a layman, right? Uh, I forgot that. And there's also a side story about uh, the, um, our main character's uh, teenage daughter who has to deal with a very uh, aggressive uh, professor at her school. And yeah, that's also another, it's a layman thing because no matter what monsters there are in the books, the worst kind of monsters are people. And that professor is uh, not a good guy. And it's kind of interesting how those two stories tie together. Uh, in a lot of Richard Lehman books, we have these uh, two parallel storylines that eventually meet. And here it's very interesting how they're tied together and how they resolve. Yeah, I mean, I'll second Edward Lorne, who said that Richard Lehman was a very technical author because he was, despite the um, sleaze and gore he wrote and, well, a bit lowbrow fiction he did, or he was pushing a lot of work, right? He was publishing two, maybe th more than that, books a year. And sometimes I get the impression that his books were not that well um, edited. They were a bit pushed out. And here we see how he's growing more confident because some of his earlier work were not that great um and the works are really growing uh this is a uh, tsanker both books are 900 pages together and of course there are no chapter breaks so i get uh these books are like uh 500 pages each i guess the uh, fun house 500 pages is almost 400 it's 450 pages in this edition and yeah, it's 450 pages each, so I guess it's uh, 500 or more pages per book on its own. So yeah, they're getting bigger, but they're fun. And that's uh, something I can say. I mean, some of his earlier books, uh, and I'll refer to you to All Hallows Eve or um, Dark Mountain, they feel a bit rust. And here it's not like that. It's uh, They're well balanced and things are flowing quite well in these books which is interesting. There is no uh, filler and there is no rushing to get to the end. And yes, there are dogs barking. Look, and I say it's very hot. So I get my, have my uh, balcony door open and yeah, there is noise outside because uh, grease. There's always noise outside. So yeah, that's uh, my very short review for Funland and the steak. If you've read these uh, books, I'd love to hear your opinions. I'll try to do uh, reviews for the other Lehman books I have read and not the Beast House books uh, because I want to do a reread of The Cellar at some point. Um, so it will come then, but uh, yeah, uh, stay tuned because more Lehman reviews are coming. And I know that a lot of people on Booktube are enjoying Lehman books. So yes, I'm looking forward to other creators doing reviews for his books. I mean, I know that uh, Kesa from Kesa's uh, book Cemetery is reviewing Lehman books in her ups, rap ups. I know that Lydia Peaver of typical books got a big bunch of Richard Lehman books and she remembers loving his books uh, because they're fun read so I know she's coming up with more reviews of him at some point. Uh, Regina did a review for one of his books from Regina's Haunted Library. I'm probably forgetting someone but I'll have uh, links to the channel. So yeah that's it, that was my reviews for Fun Love and the Steak and I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching.